The concept behind floating charges is balanced forces. Um, if we think of the free body diagram, gravity's pulling this little thing down, electricity's pushing the thing up. Since it says they're floating, really what that's telling us is that those two forces have to cancel or balance each other out. Uh, Gravity is always mg, electricity is q times e. In this particular one, I don't know the e value, but I know that for a parallel plate, v is e times d. There's enough there that we could calculate the e and then substitute it back, but I'm going to substitute the expression e equals v over d. Or this way I... I like to sort of have a checkpoint that I'm used to. MGD equals QV. Uh, v for volts, that's sort of our common floating charge situation. At this point, uh, I know the Q, negative 2. I know the plates, the D value, and I know the voltage. So there's enough there that I could solve for the mass. So I'm going to rearrange and solve for mass. <clears throat> mass is going to be Q volts over GD. The Q that I made up for this one was 2 microcoulombs, so 2 times 10 to the negative 6. I'm not putting the sign in. This is another vector thing, so the negative on a charge isn't really going to help me. I'm going to just calculate the number, and then I will use my brain to figure out signs and directions and things. Uh, the voltage was given as 12. G is 9.8. The D in this case was half a centimeter, so... 0 0.005 when we're in meters. Uh, cranking that out, I get m equals 0 0.0005, roughly, kilograms, uh, which really is uh, 0 0.5 grams. Now back to the question. Um, I didn't get a picture with it, so I'm going to create a picture. It says that a negative charge is floating. The only way a negative charge would float is if the bottom plate was negative. To float a negative, the bottom plate needs to be negative. That means the top plate's got to be positive. That means the battery must be wired this way. So to show that you truly understand it, um, show the battery to emphasize what plate uh, 